Hi, my name is Timothy David Mayhew, and I'm from the northwest corner of New Mexico, located on the borders of Arizona, Utah, and Colorado. This unique location gives me access to a wide variety of wildlife, interesting landscapes, and allows me to draw and paint outdoors at any time of year. In the winter months, I do field studies in the warmer, low elevations of Arizona, and in the heat of summer, I go up into the nearby Rocky Mountains of northern New Mexico and Colorado. My approach to the creation of art comes from the classical Roman philosopher Cicero, who said that art is born of the observation and investigation of nature. Essential to the creation of my artwork are my field studies, which are done in a variety of outdoor environments, where I'm able to study the landscape and the elegant creatures that live there. In the field, I create drawings of animals and small, all-plein-air oil paintings of the landscape to capture the quality and colors of light, all of which are invaluable reference materials to use in the studio to create large oil paintings. Several years ago, I tracked and studied a trio of moose for three days and nights through the Grand Tetons of Wyoming. This was a considerable effort, but very important to my working process. My quiet study of wildlife in their natural environment puts animals at ease, and they begin to display unique and interesting behaviors that are too often missed by less patient individuals. During graduate school, the influence of the Detroit Institute of Art convinced me to study the original drawings of old master artists, including Michelangelo, Raphael, da Vinci, and others that are housed in the archives of major museums. I quickly discovered that the unique drawing materials used by old master artists were significantly different from the drawing materials available to artists today. Unlike the old master's natural chalks and traditional metal point drawing materials, drawings done with modern materials are not durable enough to survive the rough handling encountered in backcountry conditions. This realization started me on a four decades long research project to rediscover the traditional drawing materials and techniques of the 14th to 19th century European master artists. I create my own drawings using these lost traditional drawing materials, which include natural red chalk, natural black chalk, natural white chalk, natural yellow chalk, and the traditional metal point drawing materials that were used during the 14th to 17th centuries. To learn how they were used, I put myself through the traditional drawing training of the old masters, through years of drawings from plaster casts, statues, and living subjects. I learned to draw animals from life by adapting the working method of the German artist Karl Rungis, who drew animals in the Berlin Zoo during the late 1800s. While drawing coyotes on exhibit at the Sonoran Desert Museum in Tucson, Arizona, I unexpectedly met the renowned wildlife artist Bob Kuhn, who became a good friend and was adamant that I should travel to Denali, Alaska to study the moose, caribou, wolf, and grizzly bear in this spectacular natural environment. Because of his influence, I've made a total of three extremely rewarding 10-day trips to Denali, carrying all my gear deep into the backcountry on foot. I want to thank the director, Kathy Kelsey Foley, and the dedicated and wonderful people of the Woodson Art Museum, who have gone out of their way to both nurture and support me, and even to acquire my artwork over the past decade. It's a great honor to have my artwork in the permanent collection of the Woodson Art Museum, and an even higher honor to receive the Woodson's 2020 Master Artist Award. I hope you enjoy this exhibition and will continue to support this incredible museum. But if your travels ever bring you to the enchanting Four Corners part of New Mexico, be sure to look me up.